Welcome to King's Spotlight. We are joined today by King's College sophomore Jill Korjeski and King's track and field coach Mike Kalinowski, who both returned a few days ago from the NCAA Division III Indoor National Championships in Illinois. Jill, Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it was a historical weekend for King's track and field. Jill, as you became the first All-American in the young history of the program at King's with a fifth place finish in the shot put and a personal best throw of 14.12 meters. Jill, what does it feel like when you hear Jill Korjeski, All-American? <laughs> it's very um, surreal. I mean, I've never really thought that this would happen. Well, Jill, this is your third trip to Division Three Nationals, as last year you qualified in both the indoor and the outdoor season. But let's look at your road to Nationals this season. You were also a volleyball player at Kings, and you were injured for most of the season, coming back towards the end of the 2016 campaign. Talk about your transition to indoor track, when you started practicing, how long it took to regain your timing since you were involved with volleyball, and also what your practice regimen was like. Um, I mean, being out for uh, volleyball kind of made me very more excited to go to track. And I actually started the day right after volleyball ended because I got cleared about a week before for volleyball. So um, it was kind of difficult to get back into swing with my lifting because I was out for so long with volleyball. But um, it really motivated me to be able to kind of get back into the game and every single time I was able to go to practice and actually participate opposed to watching my teammates participate, it was a lot more exciting. Coach, obviously Jill has the ability to get to this point based on her success as a freshman. What did you expect from her coming into the season and did she exceed your expectations? Well, she certainly exceeded our expectations. She had a wonderful season. Uh, coming into the season, I was a little uncertain on how she would do due to the fact that she had the injury from volleyball. But Jill really kind of picked up where she left off from last year at outdoors. Uh, did really well early in the early meets. Uh, kept getting better. Her average throws kept going up. And as we approached nationals, her better throws in practice started happening. She started getting around the 43 to 40 foot range in her throws. So we knew there was... Um, some potential for a possible big throw, a new PR throw, if you will. And we're just so fortunate to have it happen at Nationals. Jill, with your experience last year competing in both the indoor and outdoor national championships, did that help you in your preparation and dealing with nerves as you entered the competition? Yes, definitely. Um, like I was talking with Coach at, during warm-ups that for indoor I didn't even warm up at the right time because I was so confused with everything and then to walk into such a big stadium it like it really took me back but having that under my belt was definitely an advantage and I was talking to some girls who this was their first year there and they said that just like the environment of such a big meet was kind of may maybe impacted them a little bit negatively so I'm fortunate to have those two meets under my belt. Jill, going into the event, you were seated 12th with a personal best throw of 13.77 meters in the regular season. Take us through the process leading up to that third throw and then the throw itself, which got you into the finals. Um, honestly, I wasn't thinking of it too much before until like r about right before I went. But um, after my second throw of a 13.06, I knew that I had to get a better one out there to just even have a better performance for myself. So um, I just warmed up a little bit more on the side, and then one of the girls from Stevenson kind of gave me a little bit of a pep talk. It was kind of a do or die moment, so I don't really know how it happened, but I thankfully got it out there. Well, you qualified for the finals, and you had a couple more throws left, but on your, your last throw, you pretty much already had that fifth place spot sewn up, and you had one more throw, and you fouled. Was that just a case of you just throwing caution to the wind and going all in on that last throw? Yeah, I kind of tried to um, kill it, and my body went a little bit too far out of the circle, so I couldn't save myself. But um, I went in with that last throw mindset that I was secured a spot, but hopefully I was trying to bump it up a little bit. But it's it wasn't a it wasn't a big deal in my mind. I was still happy with the performance. Well, Jill and Mike, you can both answer this question. Talk about King's throwing coach, Bernie Baeski, and his role in Jill's development. Um, I mean, he is basically the only reason that I was able to get that throw out and be in the position that I was in. He's one of the best coaches I've ever had, and I give all of my um, a testament to him. Coach Baeski has been excellent. He has totally transformed our throws 
Um, without him, we would not have the performances that we've had his past few his past few years. Uh, he has multiple conference champions under him, and we're just looking forward to just keep growing as a program. Coach, the Kings track and field program is in just its second season as a varsity sport. So talk about Jill becoming King's first All-American and what it means for Kings to have produced an All-American in just a second season of a varsity program. We certainly don't take it for granted. Uh, to get to nationals alone is quite an accomplishment. And to have an All-American in our second season is an amazing accomplishment. We went to the banquet last year and we had two athletes, Kale and Jill, for outdoors. And we were sitting with a team that had eight athletes at nationals, and then we were just talking about our program and their program. And when I had mentioned that was our first year as a varsity sport, they were blown away by that. And it just made us real, realize how awesome of achievement that is and, not, and how proud we are of our athletes and our coaches that we were able to get to that level. Well, Jill, you're essentially a three-sport athlete at Kings with volleyball in the fall, indoor track and field in the winter, and outdoor track and field in the spring. But you also excel in the classroom with a 3.62 grade point average as a physician assistant major, which is one of the most demanding academic programs at Kings. How have you managed to juggle all this? Um, my experience throughout high school of also doing three sports and taking AP courses has definitely helped. But um, I think the most um, helpful thing is that the time management that I have learned how to ma how to manage throughout high school, and that all of like my teammates and such, basically all my friends are science majors, so it helps that we all study at the same time and we have the same teachers. So that helps me um, in the classroom a lot. Coach, what is it like coaching such a well-rounded student athlete who is also as humble as she is successful? It's wonderful. Uh, Jill is the perfect athlete, uh, every coach's dream. Um, she's a hard worker in the classroom, she's a hard worker at practice, and she's a fierce competitor, and we love having her on the team, and we're just very fortunate that she picked Kings College. Jill, you have received a lot of positive attention on social media, texts, and messages from your friends after winning the MAC Championships two weeks ago, and also for your performance at Nationals. What has the support from the Kings and Dunmore communities been like? I mean, it means everything to me. I came from Dunmore, which is such a small town, and everyone's so supportive. So to come to a small school like this, and even today I was walking up and down the hallways and such, and people were stopping me that I don't even know. So that just means a lot, and it feels a lot like home. Jill, although it has not aired yet, you are going to be featured tonight on WBR TV Sports in a segment called Girl Power. When you came to Kings, did you see yourself having all the success and attention, and how does it feel? Um, definitely did not see this happening, and it's, it's a great feeling. I mean, not only for me, but for Kings and for everyone at Dunmore. After, um, after Saturday's performance, I got a lot of text messages from previous coaches saying that they, they are honored to um, have coached me, but honestly, it's great that I could represent them because I know how much time and effort everyone who has helped me get here has put in. And finally, Jill, what's next for you when the outdoor track and field season begins in a few weeks? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope I can get another PR and hopefully another MAC championship, another MAC championship and um, head back to nationals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. Again, Jill, congratulations on becoming King's first ever track and field All-American. And thank you, Coach Kalinowski, for joining us today on King Spotlight. Thank, thank you. you.